Hey, what's good with the Kyle Mouth homies? It's your boy Kyle Mouth Rico, and we are back. We are back with another episode of Sports Talk with Rico, and you are not gonna want to miss today's episode. Why? Because we recapping the week one of the NFL scores, and we giving y'all a week two prediction of what I think who's gonna be coming out on top of week two. So make sure y'all go ahead and like this video and don't go nowhere. So let's get into it. Yee! God damn it, my hat. Alright, y'all. Like I said, we back with another sports update. And we about to go ahead and get into these week one NFL scores, man. And I ain't gonna lie. It ain't a good start for my team in the NFL. My team is the LA Rams. We played Thursday night on September 8th. And we play the highly talented Bills Mafia, who is stacked this year. And we got our behinds whooped. It really wasn't that bad. It was 10 to 17 in the third quarter. But, you know, how the game was going, it just kind of looked like we were sluggish. We still had our Super Bowl hangover, all that stuff, man. But the final score of that game was 31 to 10. Bills Mafia. Now, I know what y'all might be thinking. Oh, the Rams shine is over. But it's not. So, get that out your head. It's just one game. And we're going to keep it pushing. The Falcons and the New Orleans Saints. They That's a rivalry game too, man. That game was a tough game. I don't know if y'all watched it. But the game came down to the wire. And the Saints. They edged the Falcons out 27-26. to 26. Mmm, I know y'all out there in, uh, in down south in the A, and I know y'all was talking crazy to them Norland, Nor how y'all say it out there, y'all from the Nola, y'all y'all was talking crazy out there, you know what I'm saying? I know that's a heated rivalry, man. I know that is. So I know the Falcons, they was mad they ain't come on top of that, bro. So I don't know the Falcons. Y'all better get it together because y'all play us, the Rams, week two, and we ain't taking that lightly. You dig what I'm saying? But, hey, Jameis Winston, keep doing your thing out there, my boy. God damn it, my hat fell on. Ooh, the Browns and the Panthers. So, I know y'all might not know, but, shoot, the Browns' former quarterback is now the starting quarterback of the Panthers, and they went head-to-head. -head. So, you playing your old team. That's a lot of emotions involved, right? So the Panthers, man, they they came out a little sluggish. I ain't going to lie. Then they tried to ramp it up in the end, and they fell just short to the Cleveland Browns, 26-24. to Mmm, Baker Mayfield. I know you ain't like that loss, man, to especially your old team who just kicked you to the curve. Hey, you guys to do better, my boy. Moving on, the 49ers and the Chicago Bears. The San Francisco 49ers, my hometown team, and, and the Chicago Bears, they went head-to-head -head in a tsunami, rainfall, thunderstorm. I don't know what you want to call it, but it looked like it was a monsoon out there on the field. Man, how slippery and sliding and wet it was. You know what I'm saying? Like my girl... Oh, that's, that's beside the point. Uh, but, yeah, the Bears, they went ahead and took care of the 49ers, who my Rams don't like. So, I'm happy. Uh, uh, shout out to all them uh, boys in the shy uh, taking care of them, them the, the, the East Bay, the uh, the damn 49ers, man, because we don't like them. So, I'm glad y'all went ahead took care of them. You know what I'm saying? They, went, they won that game 19-10. to 10. So, that was a good, that was a good little... Hard for a game right there, man. I ain't think that they was gonna pull it out, but the Bears definitely did their thing. You feel me? Moving on. Ooh, the Steelers and the Bengals. Hey, we gonna have some good games, y'all, man. I hope y'all check them out. They had some good games. The Steelers and the Bengals. The Steelers beat the Bengals by three, man. And if y'all didn't watch this game, the game was crazy. Uh, the Bengals came back at the end. First, uh, the Steelers t uh, started taking off. And then the Bengals came back. And then, like, the kickers kept missing field goals. 
And then the Steelers kicker finally made the game win a field goal. I believe it was in overtime to give the Steelers their first victory over their rivalry, division rivals, Cincinnati Bengals. Hey, I know the Bengals going to bounce back, but, man, I know losing a game like that, it's a lot of heat. It's a lot of beef between them teams because they don't like each other. They in, they, own, they in the same division. That means they rivalries. So the, the Bengals, I know y'all going to get it together because y'all still looking all right. Steelers, you know, the Steelers, they, they going to try to make a name for themselves. Hopefully they revamp without Big Ben. All right, moving on to the Philadelphia Eagles and the Detroit Lions. Uh, man, so my second hometown, the Eagles, I don't like them. My brothers do. But they went ahead and took care of the Lions 38-35. to They barely won. It was a good game. They, they, they fought hard. But the Eagles, they was just a little too much for the Detroit Lions. Hopefully the Lions get it together so they don't have another losing season because they got a lot of good young talent. You just got to still put it together, baby. But like I said, the Eagles went ahead and took care of them. 38-35, man, is this going to be the year the Eagles return to glory? I don't know. I know how the Philly fans be getting, but I don't like y'all, but you know what I'm saying? Y'all definitely annoying, but y'all got some talent over there. Y'all might make some noise. I ain't saying Super Bowl, but y'all might make the playoffs and make a little run in there. All right, moving on, the Indianapolis Colts and the Houston Texans. Tell me why these fools tied the damn game so nobody won. How did nobody win the game? Coach, I ain't going to lie. I'm a little disappointed to you. I thought y'all was going to be the team to be out there making a statement. You know, first game of the season against a division rivalry. But y'all boys out there tying with the Houston Texans? I don't even think I know anybody on their team. Now, it's not, discred not discredited anybody on the Texans, but I'm just saying. Like, I know the coach got Jonathan Taylor. They got, uh, man, Matt Ryan. They got uh shoot, they got they got a lot of good stars over there, man. I don't know what's going on out there in Indy, but y'all need to clean it up. You feel me? Moving on. The New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins is my brother other brother team. And the Patriots is my homeboy team. So like they went head to head. Not that y'all care about any of that stuff. But they went head to head because they had another division game, man. A division rivalry. A lot of rivalry games is week one. And I kind of like that. That kind of set the tone for the season. But the Dolphins went ahead and won 20-7 to against the New England Patriots. And the, New and the New England Patriots has lost the last three against the Dolphins. What is going on out there in Foxborough? I don't know. They ain't got Brady, but they got Belichick, so they need to get it together. All right, the Ravens, Baltimore Ravens, and the New York Jets. The Ravens went ahead and took care of the Jets, and it wasn't even close. It was 24-9. Lamar Jackson did his thing, hitting Rashad Bateman for that deep touchdown pass. He did his thing, but I don't know about Lamar, man. He turned down the contract, his contract extension. He claimed he don't want to talk about it no more. But my boy, you turning down that bag? I hear and he, he turned it down because he wanted a, a, a more guaranteed contract. So Baltimore, I don't know what y'all doing, why y'all ain't securing y'all quarterback who just won MVP a year or two ago. But y'all better get it together too and pay my man. Get it together. All right. Jack, the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Washington Commanders, who used to be the Washington Redskins, but they changed their name because of all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of a, you know, y'all, I ain't going to get into that. But they are now the Commanders. And why the Commanders, when they first game, under their new name, 28-22, to 22, against the Jacksonville Jaguars. That boy Carson Wentz, he uh, led them back with a game when a touchdown to Dodson, the rookie from Penn State. Hey, them boys might have a special connection out there. So keep your eyes out for the Washington Commanders this year. They might be y'all sleepers out there in the NFC East. Watch out now. Trevor Lawrence, Jacksonville Jaguars. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know what y'all doing, but Trevor, I know you a baller. Y'all got to figure it out, bro, because the Jaguars, ain't no reason why y'all shouldn't be making no noise. Y'all just had the number one pick from Georgia. So get it together. 
All right, moving on, the New York Giants and the Tennessee Titans. This was another thriller. So this game went down to the wire. And tell me why the New York Giants edged the Titans out by one point by the score of 21 to 20. They went for it on the New York Giants went for two points to go for the win. How gutsy is that? That's crazy. They pitched that joint to, to Saquon Barkley, and he did his thing, his razzle-dazzle. Mm, got right into that uh, touchdown and won the game for his team, man. So that's a good start for the Giants, who struggled last year. So they might be making some noise. Tennessee, y'all just let Julio go. I don't know what y'all own. Y'all got the rookie, you know what I'm saying, from Arkansas. I don't know. Hopefully he makes some more noise for y'all, but y'all got King Henry, so ain't no reason why y'all losing games. You know what I'm saying? But somebody got to lose. Somebody got to lose. We going to see. You know what I'm saying? But I know the Titans was the, the heavy favorite in this one, so I don't know what y'all doing out there in Tennessee, but y'all got to get it together. Moving on. The Chiefs, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Arizona Cardinals. The Kansas City Chiefs Won the game 44 to 21. And that boy Patty Mahomes put on the show. Let's just say he picking up where he left off. And that boy, he is something special. When I say he's something special, y'all got to watch the highlights of him throwing them pill, dropping dimes, dropping dimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, them boys took care of the other division rivalry for us. You know, the Cardinals. We don't like the Cardinals in my uh, division as well. So they went ahead and took care of them boys. Shout out to Kansas City. You know what I'm saying? I might go ahead and send y'all one of these watches. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all looked out for us. You know what I'm saying? I can't send y'all to my boy G-Ball, my jeweler. You know what I'm saying? He'll get you right. You know what I'm saying? So, let's get this. this uh, the Raiders and the Chargers. The Oakland. No. <laughs> See, I almost messed up there. The Las Vegas Raiders and the L.A. Chargers. The Chargers took this game 24 to 19. Mmm. The Raiders just got Devontae Adams, and he lost his first game with his former high school, uh, no, f former college quarterback, Derek Carr. He only lost, you know what I'm saying, by less than a touchdown. But, you know what I'm saying, I feel like the Raiders, they should have came out with a little more, you know, juice. You know what I'm saying? This should this supposed to be the start of something new. You know what I'm saying? Out there in Las Vegas. So y'all can't be losing y'all first game, bruh. But the Chargers are stacked. The Chargers are nice. They just picked up J.C. Jackson. They just got Mac from the Bears, man. They got some talent. Justin Herbert ain't no slouch either. So that's a definitely a tough task. But Raiders, get it together. You know what I'm saying? My ba other... Uh, Former Bay Area team, man. Y'all got to get it together because, you know what I'm saying, I like y'all colors, black and gold, black and silver, I mean. That's, the you know what I'm saying, one of the best best uniform combos. You feel me? You can't go wrong with the, the classic Oakland Raiders year. Moving on, the Packers, the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings beat on the Packers 23-7, to man. Dang. That was a... Uh, that's another rivalry game, and I ain't going to lie, I'm a little shocked about this one. Aaron Rodgers, you lost your boy Devontae Adams to the Raiders, and you it looked like you were struggling with your with your young bulls out there, man, dropping passes and stuff. But, hey, we ain't going to overreact. It's only week one, like we said. You know what I'm saying? But the Minnesota Vikings, they ain't come to play. You feel me? They they Justin Jefferson, he had to hit that gritty. Mm, mm, mm. That boy was hitting that gritty all night on the on the Packers, man. Y'all better get it together. So, shout out to Justin Jefferson doing his thing. Moving on, we got the Buccaneers, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the Dallas Cowboys. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers won 19-3 on primetime television Sunday night. Hey, Cowboys, mm-mm-mm. I know y'all fan base ain't liking this one not one bit. So, I'm not even going to get on y'all case, but y'all know what y'all need to do. Jerry Jones don't play that, especially on national television. Y'all better get it together, or y'all going to be on the outside looking in. Hmm. Man, that ain't going to be good for nobody. Feel me? All right. Last game of week one, the Denver Broncos went head-to-head -head against the Seattle Seahawks. And let me tell you about this game. 
So, Russell Wilson, a.k.a. Sierra Husband, he used to play for the Seattle Seahawks. Now he's the quarterback of the Denver Broncos. And he went home to Seattle to the 12th man. That game was rocking. When I say rocking, it was rocking. And the game def- definitely dis- didn't disappoint. The game had one of the higher, highest viewerships. You know what I'm saying? And, and that boy Russ put on the show. Geno Smith, the Seahawks quarterback, he put on the show too. He definitely did his thing. It was a lot of controversy at the end because the Broncos, they tried to kick a field goal to win the game and they missed it. A lot of people felt they should have went for it on fourth down and gave the ball to put the ball in Russell Wilson's hand. They paying them hella bread, 200 mil, and y'all leaving it in the kicker's hand? Mm -hmm. I don't know about that, y'all, so... Hey, Seahawks, they in my division. It's a rivalry game. Seahawks winning this game put them first place in our division, and I'm definitely not liking that. So we, we I'm I need them to lose their next couple of games so we can go ahead and take that first place spot. So Sunday at 1 p.m., we got the Dolphins and the Ravens. That should be a good matchup right there. I ain't going to lie. Uh, I feel like the Dolphins might win. Because they got a little more talent. But I feel like Lamar being back in Florida, he definitely going to put on the show for him and his family. You know what I'm saying? Them boys ain't going to go out lightly. The New York Jets take on the Cleveland Browns. That's going to be a tough one. I might give the edge to the Browns, though. But I feel like the Jets might actually win because they hungry. They lost their first uh, game. So, them boys ain't got nothing to lose right now. They definitely don't want to start in the bad, you know what I'm saying, bad part of the season going downhill 0-2. Oh, so, the Jets, y'all better wake up and, and, and get the flying over something. <laughs> Washington Commanders take on the Detroit Lions. Ooh. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have to take the Lions in this one, man. I just don't know how for real the Commanders is. But like I said, if the team that's 0-1, they ain't going to be trying to go 0-2. So, man, the Detroit Lions, I think they, they might come out swinging this game. And they might win by a field goal. Maybe 10 points against the Washington Commanders. The Indianapolis Colts and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Mmm. I believe this is a division game. I'm going to have to give this, though. I'm going to go with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah. I'm going to go with the Jaguars. Not just because they own one. I just feel good about this pick. Nothing more, nothing less. Ooh, the Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints. Another division game. Ooh, we. Who I got in this one, man? I might. The Saints always play Brady tough. So it really depends on Jameis. These teams both are 1-0. I might get an edge to the Buccaneers, even though I don't want to. But, man, Tom Brady, Julio Jones, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Leonard Fournette, it's hard to go against them boys. So I'm going to get a slight edge to the Buccaneers. I got the Bucks winning by, like, three points. The Panthers and the Giants. I think the Panthers are going to win this one. Like I said, they desperate. I feel like... No, I'll take that back. No. Giants going 0-2. No, no. Giants going 2-0. I'm sorry. Giants going 2-0 this one, man. The Giants going 2-0. I feel like the Panthers ain't going to get it together. Baker. It, I... It, I don't know if Baker's going to have a good game, man. I feel like Baker, you know, he might be a little emotional at the week one's loss, but I ain't going to count him all the way out, but I definitely got the Giants going on that one. The Patriots and the Steelers. Ooh, I'm taking Steelers. Easy. I ain't going to get into that one too much. You know, I just feel like Steel City, you know, I think they finding their identity. Hopefully Najee Harris okay. Hopefully he ain't out too long, but I feel like the Steelers, they just got too many weapons, and they know how to play the Patriots. They got a lot of history, so they're going to figure it out. They're going to get the job done, 
against the uh, New England Patriots. The Falcons and my Rams. <laughs> we already know who going to win that one. We ain't even got to get into that. But, you know, I'm taking my L.A. boys. But that don't mean the Falcons ain't going to come out swinging, though. So, we just going to have to tune in. You know, I'm biased already. I'm thinking the Rams going to win every game. You feel me? Uh, ooh, the Seahawks and the 49ers. Mmm. They always play each other tough. Uh, let's see. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, I think the, I think the Niners gonna win. The Niners ain't going to want to go 0-2 and and not going to be want to be the last place in the division. So, they better come to play. The Niners usually be tough. So, I'm going to get that edge to the small. It's like edge to the Niners by like 10 points. Bengals and the Cowboys. Ooh, another tough one for the Cowboys. Eesh. Mm, I feel sorry for them. I'm going to have to take the Bengals on this one. Sorry, Cowboys. I know Dak. I think Dak hurt, too. Yeah, Bengals are probably about to get their first dub on y'all sad at. <laughs> Texans and the Broncos. Mm, for some reason, I feel like the Texans might upset the Broncos. But I'm going to go ahead and trust my gut. I'm going to go with the Broncos instead. You know, Russ ain't going to want to go 2-0, and 0-2. Oh, so he got to get his first dub in the Broncos uniform. Um, Texans, y'all rebuilding, you know what I'm saying? Y'all need to go back to the Oilers. Uh, I feel like y'all probably didn't play better with them with these colors. <laughs> nah, but uh, Texas they they looking decent though, man. They just got a lot of young talent. They just got to figure it out. They still figuring out figuring out their identity and things like that. So, I but I still think the Broncos gonna win. The Cardinals and the Raiders. I'm gonna get that to the Cardinals. Mm, Kyler, you know what I'm saying? Kyler be you know. Doing this thing. They looking for a good bounce back. They both teams are looking for a bounce back. But I just think the Cardinals going to get the Raiders. Um, the Bears and the Packers. Another division game. Mm, we going to go with the Packers. Just because I don't know about the Bears, man. The Bears could be the Bears. They, they you know, they, they might have high hopes, but they might let me down too. So, I'm going to just go ahead and take the Packers. Titans and the Bills. I'm going to go with the Bills easy because Titans, y'all lost to the Giants. Bills are stacked this year. They just played us and we saw how that went. It was super tough. Bills, yeah, Bills got this by like 14. Eagles and Vikings. I'm going to go with the Vikings. I just feel like them boys is hot right now. Even though the game is going to be in Philly, it's definitely going to be tough. I feel like that boy Justin Jefferson going to come out with some little animosity because the Eagles took Jalen Rager over him back when he got drafted. And now Jalen Rager played for the Vikings. So, yeah, them boys, got, they playing with a little chip on their shoulder. They got something to prove. They not finna play around with the Eagles. So, it should be a tough battle. But I think the Eagles going to lose by, like, three points at home, sending all the Philly fans. Mad with they cheese steaks and water ices, and they gonna talk and be mad, and you know how they do. They just be crying about everything. But hey, hey, tell me what y'all think about my predictions, and tell me what y'all think about week one scores, man. Let me know in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Get this video a thumbs up. Get us a video a thumbs up so I can keep y'all up to date with all the sports updates and sports NFL scores this season, man. Like I said, my team's a Ram. Let me know who y'all team is in the comments below, man. So we can get our, you know what I'm saying, we can get our mojo going and we can get these these football talks going, you know, because we need these talks about NFL. We need these talks about the NBA and the WNBA. We need all that good stuff, man. So give this video a thumbs up. And we are going to end it just like that. Yeah.